CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. What does this sign mean? Look carefully at that picture. And you see the capsule I'm staying with tripan blue dye. What is actually going on there? Let's fast forward a little bit here. You got a routine kind of case of a white cataract. And you're going in here with the Faco probe. Here comes the chopper. And now look carefully. And what do you notice? Look at, the, look at that capsule right there. You saw a little flutter back and forth. Is that fluttering? What is that? That's zonulopathy. So that means in that area, that quadrant, you for sure have zonular loss. So what should you do right now? I think now is a good time for a capsule tension ring. So we can get some viscolizic inside the eye. We can fast forward the video. Look at that. That is zonulopathy with the capsule coming forwards here. Now, what you, and you definitely need to do is, there we go. Here comes the capture tension ring. Let's see, surgeon's going to implant this. Be very careful not to damage the bag as you put it in. So again, he's guiding it in around and around. Looks good. Come around the other way and get that capture tension ring in. And let's see, hopefully that's going to stabilize things and push the capsule back out. So that goes in the capsule bag of the capsule bag equator. Now, obviously, you want to make sure there's no break or rip in the posterior capsule, which I think you're fine. But once you get that in there, I think it's going to help really stabilize things. Now, you see a wrinkle there. Now, look at that. You still see the capsule wrinkle. So maybe the CTR is not right, quite in the right position. Look at that. Right? So is the CTR in the bag? Maybe not really. So let's watch again, getting that Sinsky hook in there. This is a stressful case. That's why patients don't realize this, your, your surgery is going to take time off my life. But now look, the capsule still looks like that. Is there a break in the capsule? No, maybe. So grabbing it now, there we go. And now get that position. This is why I like to use the CTR with the injector to guide it in. I'm pulling the CTR out of the eye. Now, if the capsule came that far, my assumption was that we lost a lot of the lens cortex because it was liquefied. So now let's see, what are we going to do next? I'm watching the video for the first time with you, by the way. So let's see, now there's the CTR. I, I would anticipate the capsule bag is intact, the equator is intact. So I think you can get the CTR. So I agree, I would put the CTR back in. And so now there it is with the, the leading um, eyelet being held with that Sinsky hook. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. But again, stress, stress, stress. You want this in the capsule bag and then rotate it around, slowly feeding it in. Nice and easy. There it is. There it is. Now it looks better. And really, I'd inflate the bag with more viscoelastic. We really want that bag fully inflated so the CTR can go in easy. There it is. Now, look, the Rex is back to normal. So, I mean, the bag is intact. Woo, got the Rex in. I'm thankful to our guests. And thank you for sending me this video because it's good to show, like, kind of real, real world stuff of, like, hey, sometimes the CTR just doesn't go in the bag and you got to figure it out. So, now at this point, you're going to have a lot more comfort in doing the rest of the FACO. So here comes the FACO, nucleus chop. Again, there's still a little laxity there. So maybe there's even more laxity than that. We're going to find out. I like the idea of just doing the chop and bringing this thing out of the bag. I kind of don't want to operate the bag. I'd like to even put a big wad of viscoelastic underneath the uh, nucleus there just to make sure I'm not going to have a floppy bag coming towards me. And then we wonder, is it just one area of zonulopathy or is it going to be more? Was this a traumatic cataract? Is that why the patient has a white cataract? This is where the history kind of comes into play. It's actually quite important. So there's the nucleus being moved. All right, looks pretty good. Be careful there. Hey, retina rounds. Did you tell you about retina rounds, our sister channel? So much great material. I promise you're going to love it. You're going to learn so much. Really, you owe it to yourself to check it out. Plus, there's a retina rounds podcast with Steve Schwartz and a fantastic, one of my mentors, fantastic retina specialist. So check it out. Now, here's cortex removal, which can be a little trickier. Here, I tend to do the cortex removal in other quadrants first, and then do the weakened quadrant that you know about last. But again, oh, take, then when you come in and out of the eye also, you may want to keep putting viscoelastic in just so that you're not flattening out that AC and risking vitreous prolapse, because you never know. And here comes some more viscoelastic. You can also visco-dissect the cortex out of the bag. That's a reasonable option as well. And so now let's see what we got there. And okay, what are we cutting here? Micro scissors went in there for a reason, not exactly sure why. Maybe if I brought a capsule or something, I'd be cautious about doing that. And then now it led them up in the bag. Okay, there it is. Finish up the case. Cutting, maybe it's cutting a fibrotic capsule. Again, I'd leave it alone. It, maybe it's some adhesion there you're cutting. I don't really know why the scissors go in the eye. Leave a comment below. If you know, teach me something. Hey, I'm here to learn too. So here at the end of the case, okay, you got the viscoelastic and you get, this, get the pupil down, coming down beautifully. It looks pretty darn good. I think this patient's going to be quite happy. Maybe there's vitreous prolapse. Do you think that was it? Are you doing a little bit of vitrectomy with the scissors? Is there vitreous prolapse? Is that what the scissor cutting was for? 
If so, I would rather put some trimcinolone so visualize it first. But obviously, pupil comes down here. Interesting case. Leave a comment below. What do you think is going on with this case? And what would you have done differently or you do it the same way? Thanks for watching. Remember, look at retinarounds.com. So much great material. And I'm going to keep telling you about it until you do.